Hello, this is Azrael. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I will be starting a uh, new series of videos called Pagan Apologetics. Now, I know many of you out there don't really need to defend what you believe in. You either believe it and people accept it or they don't. That's all well and good. And so, you know, you don't need to justify how you believe something. However, there's a lot of people that when they are moving from one faith to the next do need that justification. So, if you don't learn pagan apologetics for yourself, learn it to help the new converts to um, the new uh, or the pagan path, shall I say. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about one question that was asked to me. <clears throat> if evolution, because you know I believe in evolution, and I believe perhaps most of you out there do, uh, they said, if evolution is real, um, how is there any God? Well, first of all, evolution does not say if there's a God or not. Uh, just doesn't say it. Evolution talks about how life got here. I'm sorry, how, how life evolved when it got here. Evolution does not even talk about abiogenesis, which is the origins of life. It doesn't even talk about that. That's something different. It doesn't talk about how the universe came into existence. That's cosmology. Evolution only talks about how animals adapt to their environment and sometimes adapt so much over long periods of time that they are no longer recognizable as the original species. Okay? Now, <clears throat> this is not how to justify uh, evolution. This is how um, theists or people who believe in a god or even atheists that believe in magic, uh, this, this talks about... Uh, Something totally different. Evolution has nothing to do with this. Absolutely nothing. Nowhere in evolution does it say God didn't help mutations. It, now, again, atheists, it's easier for atheists to believe in evolution because it agrees. And, well, first of all, it's, it's, it's demonstrably a fact. All right? it, it just is. Uh, I, I love fossils. Um, I love bones. Um, but in any case, this is how uh, spirituality basically comes into uh, play with how we evolved as animals to become spiritual. I believe that the universe, when it came into existence, uh, first of all, I, I uh, subscribe to a, uh, a kind of a string theory. I believe that this universe was a result, a bleed through from another universe and so forth and so forth, how it just kind of trickles down into new universes, new realities. So, I don't necessarily believe that the universe had a beginning per se. It's kind of, you know, just ev or the multiverse just constantly changes and in, in its, its different states of existence. <clears throat> but I believe at the moment that this reality came into existence, energy started flowing. This energy is like a, a great way to, to describe it is, is a river, okay, constantly flowing. And much like that river that's constantly flowing, it was flowing before us, flowing, flowing after us, and the life forms in, inside a natural river, as it constantly flowed, these creatures evolved to get other, uh, ad to adapt. They adapted to learn how to walk on land, and then later on adapted to do other things, right? So this, this, this energy force, this spirituality has always been there. It's just we, as a species, finally evolved enough to tap into it. So there you have it. Uh, it's always been there, regardless of evolution or not. It's just that our brains finally evolved at, uh, enough complexity to uh, start tapping into this energy or spiritual force that's there, that's beyond uh, most people's sight or, or rate of experience. So. There you have it. Evolution does not talk about if there is or is not a god, regardless. Oh, monotheists like to claim that because they don't want to believe that. So they try to uh, false equivocate this situation. So evolution is not a problem for pagans whatsoever unless the believer makes it a problem. But evolution does not say if there's an exist if there's a god or even if there's magic. It just talks about how life adapts. Period. All right. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.